Hey there viewers and welcome back to the South Paint Auto Channel. Sitting inside the 2009 Jeep Wrangler. I think they call them a JK. It's got a buck 30 on it. Uh, another shop sent this here. Again, another shop that I've never done work for. It's like third one in a row. Words getting around. Uh, or somebody starting rumors. They sent this one here because they said it won't run a drive cycle. So I'm assuming that it wouldn't run a drive cycle. Uh, terminology is a little mixed up. The real story is they're trying to get an inspection sticker on it, so they're doing the classic, you know, keep clearing the code, tell the customer to drive it thing, you know, to get it to go through. Uh, engine lights on. It's got a ton of codes in it. I'm waiting for my computer to restart over here. It had some silly update. Um, as soon as that restarts, we'll look at it. Uh, I think when I did the initial scan before my computer goofed up on me, it had like 21 codes or something. So this is not a drive cycle issue. This is a, you need to fix the check engine light issue. So we're gonna log in here with the Witech 2.0. Now that my computer is acting as it should. Oh uh, yeah, so 21 codes, as far as I got last time. So let's come in here. Let's blow this up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess we can just go all DTCs. Uh, we're mostly concerned with the engine light, but sometimes other modules will give us something here. So tip them, lost com with ECM, PCM, wipers, circuit codes, tire pressure sensors. All right. Uh, not super concerned with any of this stuff. Currently, you know, stored, stored, active codes. Don't really care if the headlights on this thing work or not. Tire pressure sensors, don't care about. Don't care if the radio works, uh, none of that stuff. So let's just go back here so we can see just the PCM. We'll select it. Uh, there's a software update on it apparently, or something there. Uh, nope, this one's up to date. What is this, just a uh, yeah, calibration, okay. So let's, don't get sidetracked, Eric. Uh, active codes right now, bank two, sensor one, two, one, one, two, 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 heater circuit high and one one so <laughs> so we have codes for all four because that's these are all active and EGR control circuit open these are all active codes these uh, codes here for the APP sensor and throttle position are stored codes um, gosh didn't we do a video on this folks I thought we had a Jeep in that had some heater circuit high problems. Uh, so usually a heater circuit high is usually an indicator of you know a bad ground. Um, that's kind of interesting. And then the EGR open circuit, you know, could also be uh, that's in the control side open. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyhow, folks, I think this is. Um, We'll go back here. We'll do some. We'll do some poking. Uh, let me uh, let me print out the list of codes here that we have, uh, just so I have a record of them. We'll devise a plan. Uh, if I remember right, because this thing sounded like it was probably a 3.8 liter when I pulled it in. Uh, I believe yeah, it was an 09. Oh yeah, it is a 3.8. <laughs> I'm looking at the VIN trying to figure out what it is when it says right above it 09 3.8. Uh, if I remember correctly. It was a ground wire over on the starter side of the engine on the last one of these that we fixed uh, that was crappy. And I think that had uh, heater circuit problems. I'd have to look back uh, through our video archive, but I believe it was a green Jeep or Wrangler, similar to this one, except it was a four door, this is a two door. So print these out, let's come up with a plan and execute it. Well, I got us the printout folks, and it's, it's nothing that we don't already know. The active codes, EGR 0202 all heater circuits, all high, open circuit. So, I got a diagram here. I think I know where we're going to be heading with this. Oxygen sensor, part of the heater circuit, the ground for it, G104. This O2 sensor, G104. Where's the other O2 sensors? They're around here, different page. Anyhow, let's go to G104. Let's see what all runs off G104. I printed out the ground diagram for that also. There's G104, rear of engine. I'm pretty sure we already did this, so it's probably a waste of the video. O2, 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 EGR valve, <laughs> AC compressor, 
backup light switch for a manual trans. Kind of curious if the backup lights work on it. That would be another clue for us. Stick it over there in reverse. Let's turn the key on. Just out of curiosity. So we do have backup lights. So that portion of it works. Uh, not sure if the AC works, but not uncommon to have a portion of that G104 go back because it's usually a whole bunch of wires into one outlet uh, or one that, into one eyelet. So quick and dirty, we're going to raise it up in the air, get to an O2 sensor, uh, one or two of them, check the black wire, see, you know, do we have ground? If we don't, we're going to just go fix this G104 and then just clear the codes, run it through a drive cycle and see if anything else comes up, see if any of these other codes mature. The, you know, APP sensor, those are just stored codes, throttle position, stored codes. So I don't know if they were doing some, you know, fiddly stuff with it. Not too excited about them. Let's check this out. I should act surprised, but, <laughs> but I can't anymore, folks. Uh, believe it or not, you probably will, but guess what four parts are brand new underneath this car? You guessed it. It's got four brand new oxygen sensors. Imagine that. Um, we're not going to get down and ride the shop, but let me just tell you something, folks. If a car comes in and it has a code for all four oxygen sensors, whether it be heater code, slow response code, circuit codes, what do you think the probability of all four oxygen sensors going bad at the same exact moment are? Probably pretty low. Can it happen? Maybe. The odds of it happening in your lifetime? Pretty dang slim. I'll give you that much. Uh, so let's see, we've got one of these unplugged. I'm gonna find the black wire on it, which appears to be that one there. The other one looks brown. And we're gonna get a test light hooked to power and see if we have continuity. Right, so we have a functioning test light. We're gonna go on the harness side here. We're gonna reach in, we're gonna touch the ground. And we've got nothing. Test light works. Black wire, nothing. Just like that. And I am 95% certain we're gonna double check that that is G104 if I remember correctly. And hence, and hence, and hence. Let's see if I can get you guys a good look at that. Oh yeah, she's green and crusty. And I'm just gonna reach up there and just tug them out of there. It's in a pisser of a spot, folks. It's behind this heat shield. Goes onto that bolt up there. Uh, we're likely gonna do a relocation, get these wires out, get them where we can work on them. Uh, try to get them out here on the backside. Whether we gotta add extensions on it, new eyelets, whatever we have to do. Um, but it's probably not gonna go back there on that portion of the block because it's just too big a pain to work on. That's what they look like, folks. There's the eyelets. They were all green and pussy. Able to reach up with just a pair of pliers. Give them a little twist. All the wires popped out. <laughs> I see this little guy fell on the floor. So, you can only assume that, yes, you are correct. Not only does it have four brand new oxygen sensors, but it also has a brand new EGR valve. <laughs> awesome. That original shop's going to make a lot more money than I am. Uh, I've taken the wires, so there is, I think there's four in this one, three in this one. I've combined them together into a couple 10 gauge wires, crimped, heat shrinked, and then heat shrinked over top of the heat shrink just to make sure we've got a good seal. And then the other wire that was back here, I took and crimped on a new uh, copper lug onto that because that was heavier, uh, quite a bit heavier gauge than 10 gauge wire that I had. So stripped that back, crimped it, and then soldered that connection on. This one we're gonna put back to the OG spot. These here, we're probably gonna relocate them. I put a little bit of extra length of wire on it so we can run them where we want. I'm gonna get this kind of button back up, run behind that heat shield, uh, the knock sensor wiring harness, which is right here, get that run back behind that heat shield, kind of get things put back. It's a real piss pot to record this, folks. But you can kind of see where I'm working and kind of see what we're doing here. Move the wires out here to the bottom of this engine mount. And then, of course, the OG up in there. And I spritzed everything down with the fluid film. 
because this entire Jeep is coated with the grease. Maybe we've already brought this to your attention. Uh, but I need to go wash my patties and change my clothes now from working on this thing. And we're going to set it down, clear the codes, take it for a rip, and see what happens. Just pulled over here, folks. So far, so good. We have a lot of passes. Uh, EVAP monitor is not going to run this go around. So I'm not too awful concerned about that. I'm feeling pretty good about this. We've got no money light on. Uh, I've put about 10 miles on it or so. I think it's time to head back to the shop and work on something else. A lot of time has gotten away from me today and we have a lot of cars to fix. Well folks, that's it. We're back from the test drive. Shut my hot spot off here. And it seems that everything is well. Um, did not run the entire drive cycle. Uh, obviously Chry Chrysler's take a little bit of time. I believe it runs part of the O2 sensor test key off. I could be wrong. Uh, so I'm gonna let it sit here, key off. I'm confident in repair. I'm gonna call the guy, tell him, you know, come and get it, we're cool. Uh, it's just too bad that, you know, he's already paid so much for auction sensors, EGR valve, who knows how many other parts, but uh, that's that. Uh, I guess what I would tell you is if something doesn't seem right, like in your gut where you're like, did all that stuff really did die at the same time? You know, you're just driving along all of a sudden, poof, you know, 402 sensors, EGR valve, and whatever else is hooked to those grounds. Did that all quit working? Use your noodle a little bit. If you don't know, it's okay to just stop. Just don't. Just don't. <laughs> just stop. Ask somebody, you know, what's going on here? This, this doesn't seem right. So uh, that's it. I got to go help some customers. Comment box, questions, concerns, Insta, Facebook, you know the routine, folks. And just remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.